What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, a channel dedicated to helping men dress better and feel their best, and in this video, it is a complete guide on how and when to tuck in your shirt. Stay tuned. So you probably started tucking in your shirt as early as you can remember. Maybe it was for picture day at school or Easter Sunday mass, usually by force from your mother. Something that we rarely think about, but there is a time and a place for a proper shirt tuck, and there are several different ways to do it depending on where you are, the situation, or level of formality or casualness that you wanna give off. And so this video is broken into two parts. First, I'm gonna show you four different methods of tucking in your shirt. And then for the second part, I'm gonna give you various reasons for tucking in your shirt. Now let's get to it. Let's start things off with the full tuck. So the full tuck is the standard shirt tuck that you learned as a little kid and still used till this very day. It's the method that business professionals use. Typically, you're gonna fully tuck your shirt when you're wearing a dress shirt with dress pants or any type of more formal clothing. Although it is worth noting that there are no hard and fast rules here, as men will often tuck their more casual Oxford cloth button down shirts into their jeans or chinos, for example. The bottom line is that the full tuck is reserved for any occasion where you aim for a presentable, well put together appearance. Next up, we have the half tuck. And so this method of tucking in your shirt is for a carefree nonchalance. It's most appropriate when you're keeping things really casual. A proper half tuck can demonstrate that your style game is on point. Think of the half tuck as a business in the front and a party in the back. Visually, the front of the shirt is tucked into your trousers while the back hangs loose. There's a bit of sprezzatura, which is a study of carelessness involved with the half tuck. With a little bit of confidence, any man can pull off this stylish shirt tuck. The half tuck also includes the quarter tuck, which is the same except one side of your shirt tail is tucked into the front of your pants as opposed to both. Let's move on to the third shirt tuck. So this method is called the military shirt tuck, and the military tuck is essentially a technique that helps for your full tuck to appear more presentable. It's a good short-term option for men who want to conceal the excess fabric billowing around their waist. Oftentimes, men wear dress shirts that are simply a size or two too big, and so the military tuck can come in handy in these situations. To do it, you simply take the extra fabric at the sides of the shirt, and you fold it and wrap it around the back. Although this shirt tuck isn't bulletproof, it's a good temporary solution, especially when you're wearing a blazer, and so no one is going to notice that you've wrapped the excess fabric around the back, and the front will appear clean and proper. And finally, the fourth tuck is the underwear tuck. And so this one might make you feel a little awkward, but with the underwear tuck, you'll want to be wearing an undershirt, not a t-shirt, under your button-up shirt. And so it's called the underwear tuck because you're tucking your undershirt into your underwear and then you tuck your dress shirt into your trousers as normal. The benefit of the underwear tuck is that by tucking in your undershirt into your underwear, it creates a separation of the undershirt and dress shirt between your boxers or your boxer briefs. And so it's going to allow for a cleaner shirt tuck because of that separation of fabric. And so you will avoid a dreaded muffin top appearance. And additionally, the friction helps to keep the shirt more securely tucked in, even when you move your arms and your body throughout the day. Alright, so now that we've covered the various ways to tuck in your shirt, here are the many different reasons for when to tuck in your shirt. So the first reason to tuck in your shirt is when you're going for a smart casual look, aka the high-low approach. And so with this method, this is how you can casually tuck in your shirt. If you're going for a more smart yet still casual type of vibe, then you might want to tuck in a well-fitting polo, t-shirt, or Henley shirt into a pair of chinos or more formal trousers. And this is going to give off sort of a high-low aesthetic that can look super sharp and put together. It takes a little bit of confidence to pull off these looks, but in my opinion, it looks stellar. Another reason for when to tuck in your shirt is when you have a shirt with curved shirt tails. And so shirts with a flat bottom hem should be untucked, but as a rule, shirts with a visible curve around the bottom should be tucked in. 
These shirts are usually longer and it's clear when you're wearing a shirt with a curved hem. And so as a general rule, when there are curved shirt tails and if the shirt is longer in length, as in it goes past your crotch and your butt, then you'll definitely want to tuck it in. And finally, a third reason for tucking in your shirt is when you're attending formal events. And so you always want to tuck in a dress shirt. Dress shirts are formal and anytime you're adhering to a formal dress code, your best bet is to tuck in your shirt. One of the most common style sins that men commit is wearing a dress shirt untucked. It goes without saying, but any type of formal event where a suit and tie is required, you'll want to tuck in your shirt. An untucked shirt under a suit jacket and trousers is sloppy, no matter how fashion forward you may think you are. Keep in mind that an untucked shirt with a blazer with more casual jeans or chinos can be done, but it's more of an advanced style move, so be warned. All right, so you can check out another video linked in this box right here. If you like this video, go and smash that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.